This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We really appreciate Squarespace for supporting the channel and making it possible to create more epic, detailed, and educational content for our fans. If you want to easily make your own website that looks good, they have some incredible templates to use. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever, and they have award-winning 24-7 customer service. It's also really easy to set up or transfer your own domain name. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simple history to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Mad Jack, the man who fought with a longbow and a sword in World War II. John Malcolm Thorpe Fleming Churchill was born in Hong Kong and graduated from the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst in 1926. He would later earn the nickname Mad Jack or Fighting Jack, for fighting with a longbow, bagpipes, and a sword in World War II. Stationed at Burma with the Manchester Regiment in the British Army during peacetime made Mad Jack restless. It was during the interwar years in the 30s that he would master the bagpipes and ride his motorcycle across the entire Indian subcontinent. In 1936, after moving to England, Mad Jack left the army and became a model and a movie extra. He would also practice a new skill, archery, and became so good that he represented Great Britain at the World Archery Championships in 1939. When war arrived, Mad Jack returned to the British Army and the Manchester Regiment as an officer and was shipped off to France. During the Battle of France in 1940, Mad Jack led small raids on the enemy as the British Expeditionary Force was on the retreat from the Germans' relentless advance. Using a longbow and a Scottish broadsword as his weapon of choice, he became the only soldier known to have felled an enemy with a longbow in the war when he landed a shot on the enemy Feldwebel with a barbed arrow. When asked why he did this, he replied, any officer who goes into action without his sword is improperly dressed. During the retreat to Dunkirk, Mad Jack was shot in the neck. When asked how it happened, he replied, German machine gun, casually. He would also win the Military Cross for bravery after rescuing a wounded British officer from a German ambush. After Dunkirk, Mad Jack signed up for the commandos, and when his training was complete, he was sent to Vogso, Norway in 1941 as second in command of Number 3 Commando in Operation Archery. As he left the landing craft, Mad Jack played March of the Cameron Men on his bagpipes and then led his men ashore with his broadsword waving in the air. The German garrison at Vogso was quickly defeated. Prisoners were taken and the artillery batteries captured, along with shipping destroyed on Malloy Island. For this action, Mad Jack received his second military cross. In 1943, in Italy, Mad Jack led two commando with the objective to destroy German artillery and observation posts in the town of Pigioletti. Even though the town was well defended and outnumbered, Mad Jack organized his men into six parallel columns, who instead of using stealth tactics, all shouted, Commando! The German defenders, as a result, were confused into thinking the shouting, which was coming from all directions in the darkness, was a much bigger force. In this skirmish, the 50 men of Number 2 Commando took 136 prisoners. Mad Jack, who was assisted by Corporal Raffel, took 42 German prisoners and captured a mortar crew using his broadsword. After marching the prisoners down to British lines, he said, I maintain that as long as you tell a German loudly and clearly what to do, if you are senior to him, he will cry, Jawohl, and get on with it enthusiastically and efficiently, whatever the situation. After losing the broadsword in hand-to-hand -hand combat earlier, he later went to the town on his own to retrieve it. On the way, he met an American patrol going towards the enemy lines when they should have been going the other way. So he told them, that he wouldn't come back for a bloody third time. In 1944, Mad Jack was in Yugoslavia leading British commandos and now Yugoslav partisans, attacking the vital hill called Point 622 on the island of Brak in the Adriatic Sea against the Germans. Heavy casualties were caused and soon Jack was alone and out of ammo. With no hope left, Jack started playing songs on his bagpipes until he was knocked unconscious by a frag grenade and captured by the German defenders. He was first sent to Berlin and interrogated, as it was thought that because of his real name, he was a relative of Prime Minister Winston Churchill and afterwards sent to Sachsenhausen concentration camp. But in September 1944, Mad Jack and an RAF officer escaped the camp by crawling under barbed wire through an abandoned drain and set out to walk to the Baltic coast but were then captured. 
now sent to a new camp in Niederdorf, Austria, Mad Jack escaped again on April 1945, taking the opportunity to get away when the lighting system failed in the darkness of night. He walked 150 miles through the treacherous terrain of the Alps, surviving on vegetables that he had liberated from gardens. Eight days later, and with a sprained ankle, he found a U.S. armored column and was sent back to England. Jack was frustrated that the war in Europe was all but over, so made his way to the Pacific Campaign to join the battle against the Japanese in Burma. But by the time he arrived, the atomic bombs had been dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mad Jack was so unhappy, he said, If it wasn't for those damn Yanks, we could have kept the war going another ten years. After the war, Mad Jack continued to seek danger, qualifying as a parachutist, then transferring to the Seaforth Highlanders, and later ending up in Palestine in 1948 as second in command of 1st Battalion, the Highland Light Infantry. During an ambush on a Jewish medical convoy by Arab forces, Mad Jack with only 12 men and in full military dress, marched under fire to the convoy to offer its evacuation. I grinned like mad from side to side, he said afterwards, as people are less likely to shoot at you if you smile at them. He would later coordinate the evacuation of 700 Jewish doctors, students, and patients from the hospital atop Jerusalem's Mount Scopus. Mad Jack would retire from the army in 1959 with two awards of the Distinguished Service Order. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today.